This program will mathematically predict your firing solution for a first round impact and no more Kentucky windage. Hello and thank you for joining my channel today. Today we're going to go over the ballistics app for my Android cell phone. It's made by Straylock and it looks something like this right here. And what it does, it gives you windage and holdover in uh, minutes of angle or mil rads. So we're going to go over this today and show you how to use the app. It works very efficiently in the field and um, for a hunter this is the best app that I have seen. It's the, mo it's the fastest and most efficient to get your uh, solution. To set up your, your zeroing weather, hit your rifle and then go into zeroing weather bypass this GPS we don't need that and then input your your corrected values so your altitude temperature that you're zeroing your rifle and the barometric pressure which you can check on the internet or um, your local weather station for your area and then when you go at 5,000 or 10,000 foot of elevation the Calculate the ballistics calculator will automatically calculate the corrections based on your zero. Next, we'll select the cartridge and the ballistic coefficients. So we again we have uh, we can input ten cartridges in the menu selection, and there's none picked for this rifle yet. So we will select the. Um, bullet weight of 140 in this case done and the ballistic coefficient so one of the first things we need to do is set up our rifle is we'll open this page and right here where it says change rifle highlight that and there's 10 selections in the menu right now I have created every one of these so I'm going to go to the rifle number 10 and we're going to open up the scope and set up the scope and our zero. So what we come up with is we come up with our zero distance for this case 100 yards. And then we have our uh, scope height which is center of bore to center of scope. It's the vertical height of that. And then we can uh, use click values in uh, either MRAD, minute of angle, um, for both horizontal and vertical. And, and then um, here is how you change to the MRAD or whichever way you want to go. Hit the back arrow to go back if everything's good. We want to know if this reticle is in the first focal plane. Now the difference between the first focal plane is that when you turn your dial in power the the image either grows or expands of the crosshair or or gets smaller the second focal plane which is most common and most hunting rifles have the the crosshair remains constant in size but the target gets either smaller or bigger depending on the power setting in this case we have a second focal plane scope so we're not going to mark that. If we look at our rifle and our data hit this button and then we come to a menu and then we have our scope right here if we hit that and we hit the, re the reticle button and our scope will come up. So what you see is the ballistic plex reticle and we have these sub tensions at different ranges. Over here there's a slide bar. It's on maximum power right now and most commonly we shoot on maximum power. But if you pay attention this slide bar we can grab it and bring it over. And what that does is it changes the value all additionally changes the target. In this case our target we put a deer up there so we want to change the 
distance and what's our target. So we hit the button and then pick our range. Let's say 500 yards. Quite a long shot. We're done. We hit calculate and it changes all, all our information and our corrections. And then we go back to our reticle and now we have our target. Let's change that target back up and scroll down on your main menu and we'll go to settings and then we will scroll down and we'll pick the target type and then we will scroll down and there's quite a menu of targets so in this case I'd like a more refined target I'll pick this red dot and then I'll hit done close and we'll go back and then I'll hit calculate and then hit our radical and you can see I have a really fine dot here now this can move if we hit windage let's go back to the main page and we want to co correct the windage so we have a 10 mile an hour wind let's say so I'll punch in 10 and then we have our wind this you're the shooter and your targets at the 12 o'clock position and this dial is a relationship of the wind between you and your target so I'm gonna put it right by close to nine o'clock I'm gonna hit calculate and it's give me a value for horizontal corrections now we will go back to the radical and you can see that we have moved the wind and now that's our our new target and we need to hold to the left of target by that difference so by using your radical you can adjust from the duplex over and it kind of gauge the distance that you need to hold your rifle another feature is the slope angle on this so what we do is we pick their slope angle and we get this gauge in here and if we want to use the internal device you can see how this bar moves depending on you can hold your your phone at different angle in relationship to your target sighting down the edge of your phone to the target and then you can select OK and then what it'll do is it'll automatically calculate your slope angle and we have zero slope angle but let's change that we're shooting extremely downhill so we're gonna move this slope angle and we're gonna go to say 30 degree angle and we hit OK and then we hit calculate we go from 458 to 353 so there's a difference of one minute of angle so that would take you off target that difference approximately three and a quarter inches now let's maintain the same rifle we'll go back to the menu and it's a day later after our hunt and it's now 30 degrees temperature and we're going out with the same rifle the same bullet and load so we need to change the weather in which we're hunting so we hit this button we drop the temperature to 30 degrees and we hit done and we hit OK and then we hit calculate now notice that the 80 degree weather our MOA was 8.47 what do you think the difference is going to be with colder weather let me show you it's 9.92 or one and a half minutes in angle so at 500 yards one and a half minutes of angle is a, is a difference of seven and a half inches of point of impact from one day difference to the next using the same bullet the same everything except that the only change was a 50 degree temperature swing this is why I'd rather use a ballistics app 
than a pre-programmed turret marked in yardage calibrated for a type of condition. As a hunter, our, our conditions change constantly all the time. So between temperatures, barometric pressure, altitude, there's so many variables. I can have my scope work no matter what condition and I can I have the option to use different bullets because I'm using this ballistic app. In the real world let's show you how fast you can make your corrections. We're going hunting. First thing we do before hunting is hit and open your app. Let's go into the zeroing weather and we need to find out what the temperature is that we're hunting. Input the information. Now that you're in the field, as long as the temperature is constant, then this value will never change except the yardage and distance. So you see, you see your animal, you hit the button, you say 325, that's how far he is, and then you find the wind and you change the degree. He's right there you're done. You hit calculate and it's that fast. In a real hunting condition those are the only steps you take. You can also use this app to check the ballistic coefficients of different projectiles for your rifle and you could create your own scenario. What we can do is look at things like Acubon long range and then hit OK and then close and we'll go back to this window and we'll just go to uh, 500 and, and then we'll hit calculate. Okay so that particular projectile that we're shooting we want to know how it's behaving so we go to the table and if we look at 500 yards you have a velocity of 2533 and then you have your energy foot pounds at 2138. Now we we'll close this. We'll go back to the rifle and we'll select again this here to get back to our cartridge. Now we'll go to the 168 grain and you notice our velocity has changed. Hit OK and then we'll hit close and we go back and we hit table. Now it is calculated uh, 2145 for velocity and then for the energy foot pounds is 17 and 16. Back to here we're going to change the cartridge. We go to the Barnes LRX. This one moves at 2725 and we so we we're good with that we hit OK we hit the back arrow calculate and we then check our menu go to the table and here we are at 500 yards it's 2068 so to write that down 68 1596 is the energy foot pounds and maybe we want to change that cartridge and we'll go to the Barnes 150 grain and we hit OK back arrow hit calculate we find our information hit the table and now we are at 2081 velocity and the energy foot pounds is 1442 before us I put together a chart of those different bullets that I should showed you and demonstrated so as an example we have a 150 grain Nosler Acubond long range bullet the coefficient is 611. The muzzle velocity in this projectile was 3200 feet a second. At 500 yards the velocity was 2533 and the energy foot pounds was 2138. And then down below it is the Acubon 168 grain bullet coefficient 652. Velocity at the muzzle was 2705 kind of a slower bullet its its velocity out to 500 yards was 2145 and the energy foot pounds was 1716 Barnes 
you can look at the LRX, the long range version. Ballistic coefficients is quite considerably less at 0 0.550. Muzzle velocity of 2725. And the velocity at 500 yards was 2068 with an energy foot pounds of 1596. Then we have the tip triple shock by Barnes, 150 grain. For 0 0.450 is the ballistic coefficient value, the velocity 2900, and at 500 yards it's moving 20 or 2,081 feet per second, and the energy foot-pounds is 1442. So with this program, you can get a good idea on your velocities and different bullets and calibers and what might have enough energy foot-pounds to meet your needs downrange. I'd like to thank you for joining my channel today. We've given you a rough idea on how this ballistics app program can work for you in the field. Good luck, good shooting, and see you at the next campfire.